Hey, well, thank you. Thank you for that. I swear I didn't pay him for that, but I might pay you after. I'll pay you commission. Hey everyone, Joel Hansen here, and today we are in San Angelo, Texas. Yes, San Angelo, which is like three hours kind of northwest of San Antonio and Austin. So yeah, here we are, uh, or going to be, at the Lone Star Cheeseburger Company to do their cheeseburger eating contest to celebrate National Cheeseburger Day, which is today, September 18th. Um, so, overall prizes are 500 bucks to first place. This is their eighth annual contest. They have done this every year for the last eight years, so that's pretty cool. It's a five minute contest, uh, whoever can eat the most burgers. So, yeah, we're gonna give it our all, see what we can do. Really hoping for that win, because we drove quite a ways in the middle of nowhere. Um, so really hoping uh, that it pays off, but uh, let's see what happens, guys. I don't know, we might could have some really good competition. And uh, if not, the people seem really great. So yeah. Joel got this. Hopefully. This. We're gonna hope for it. So, uh, you know, uh, Lone Star Cheeseburger Company. Let's do this. Burger eating contest. Let's go. Hey everyone, welcome to this video. Today we're at Lone Star Cheeseburger Company. Yes, that's right, in San Angelo, Texas. So, very, very much in kind of the middle of Texas. Like, we're really getting into western Texas, kind of the middle of nowhere. But nonetheless, like we said, it was about maybe like three hours from, I want to say, uh, San Antonio, or like two and a half hours, two, three and a half. It was, it was quite a ways. Anyway, so here we're doing their burger eating contest. So, five minute contest guys, see who can eat the most burgers with a $500 cash prize. So obviously we're gunning for that. So the way this contest was set up is, like when you ran out of food, it's not like they gave you a new plate. They would just come up and give you another burger or two. And then apparently the handler would tell somebody keeping track of the numbers. So it was definitely very difficult as a participant to uh, know like how many burgers it was eaten. Um, nonetheless, not the biggest deal. But if you don't have a counter and you can't have plates to count with, it was uh, definitely a little difficult of kind of where to judge, well, basically where I was at. Um, they were pretty good about uh, getting burgers on time. Um, there was definitely a couple times that, you know, I'd be down to a burger, maybe two. And I would, you know, definitely really try to get their attention because previously, and although it can happen in any contest, um, you can really lose by running out of food. Uh, you know, and like we said, we wanted to really ensure we could get the win to the best of our abilities because we traveled out here. Um, lots of great staff, guys, lots of energy at this contest, lots of participants as well. So, like, the energy was so huge. I, with my headphones in, um, although even though I could hear like a little bit of, let's say, volume, I could hear some hype. Um, I had no clue where I was, and I definitely had no clue where I was in my placing. I wasn't sure if I was first, I wasn't sure if I was last. All I heard was just 
because down at the other end of the table, there was such a roaring crowd. A um, lot of support for an individual or two, and just like these, these roaring individuals. So I really was uh, not sure where I stood, and kind of about now, I'm like, all right, we need to kick this up a bit, because like I said, hearing all this roaring down at the other end of the table, I was like, uh, they, this might be a little closer than originally I was thinking. Um, so hence, I was like, pick up a little bit, and in such, I'm like, yo, you know, let <laughs> make sure I get some burgers, because uh, like I said, I would rather not run out of food, and then to, you know, to uh, buy, and, and lose the opportunity to get a first place finish because of running out of food uh, but yeah beautiful day guys out here in texas again this was in september the weather was great the weather was fantastic and this was such a cool event like i said just a lot of energy going around it they had a great announcer um, this is a really cool little restaurant um, they are forming into a concrete permanent restaurant but it's kind of like set up like a food truck uh, which they operated here on one of the main streets in uh, San Angelo um, but yeah definitely a cute little quaint town definitely a place that I could uh, understand why somebody would like to live if you just want a nice slow paced life um, so that everybody that's kind of about it again it's only a five minute contest I believe that's kind of all the ins and outs those the details um, kind of behind my head Obviously, dunking was allowed, and uh, definitely using that um, to the advantage, to the strategy, and ensuring, again, I had enough food. I also give a thanks to Raina for being my camera individual uh, for this contest. It definitely does help, uh, especially when there's individuals walking up and down and all around giving you food. It is a little easier to have somebody versus a tripod. But that everybody, let's see, ultimately, uh, what happened. 20 seconds. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I really appreciate it. Also, I want you to join the happy, healthy, hungry family. That's right, guys. Hit that subscribe button right there. Hit that little thing that looks like my face. And then I picked two videos out specifically for you. Yes, that's right. I picked out two videos just for you. I know you're going to like them. So real quick, hit one of these right here. This video is going to go away in a couple seconds. So please hit them. Three, two, one. Click one. Let's go.